Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my preview for Walking Dead Season 3, which starts one week from tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. We've only had 19 episodes of this show and the complaints have been varied from too much crammed in and too fast to just too slow with everything on the farm. Um, there's been all the background drama with Frank Darabont and everything like that and the writers and they have to adjust to everything. The show has characters that we shouldn't want to see eaten. Uh, but I think a lot of us do, like Lori and Carl and Carol. Um, so the show has issues, but the idea that season three could turn those issues around and we can get the best version of this show possible is something that, at least from the previews, I, I honestly think we're going to get with now a writing staff that is, you know, completely together and focused and a staff that understands what the problems have been with the show. They know, you know, the problems and they know, you know, at least what to try to fix. So this is the season of the show, I think, where we really could get the perfect storm of all these elements and, you know, just get the best version of the show. The writers have said that a faster pace is pretty much paramount for them uh, this season. And the idea that we have, like, only two storylines going into the season, there's Andrea, who's with the, um, you know, the black chick with the samurai swords. I know that... Her name begins with like an M. It's from I. I'm just I don't want to butcher the uh, pronunciation. Um, but the two of them plus the governor plus Merle, um, basically they're gonna take on as. Well, I'm not so sure about the um, about the samurai chick, but the uh, the governor and Merle are gonna be obviously the human villains of the season. Um, I know the governor looks completely different from the comic book. I'm not. I don't read the comic book, but I know that he looks very different. Um, but him and Merle, you know, I think on top of all the zombies, should just actually make it for more exciting, especially than anything from last season. Um, and instead of being like regular, you know, thugs or whatever on the street and stuff like that. So, yeah, that, um, I really don't know what they're going to do with it. I'm sure it's going to be separate from our group of characters for like an episode or two, and then they're just all going to converge. Um, unless they're going to be separate for a while. That might be possible too, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see about that. All right, now the prison storyline is famous from the comic book, I know, and it seems to be everyone's favorite storyline. And the show gets to treat the setting this season as basically a, a horror house, pretty much. And um, that, on top of all the human, you know, the human drama with the characters that we like, you know, I do want to see what's going to go on with Glenn and Maggie. I want to see what they do with Herschel. Um, Daryl always has interesting stuff to do, and with Merle showing up eventually, that's going to be even better. Hell, even T-Dog might get a couple more lines, or at least something to do, especially if Merle shows up again. So all that stuff, plus, you know, not having Shane in it anymore, kind of takes out the love triangle drama, which is one of the things that, you know, we're kind of bleh. Um, you know, as far as the characters like Lori, Carl, and Carol, those characters, yeah, they have to, they have to work a little bit on them, and they have to do a better job. With them to make us, I guess, care a little bit more. Make me care, I should, I should say. Make me care a little bit more. But, um, you know, if they can do all that, um, and, you know, then we're going to have a much better show and a much more entertaining show. And I'm well aware of there's a specific thing that happens during the prison storyline. Uh, I won't say what it is. Anyone that's read the comic book pro you know, pretty much knows. Um, it's something that... I wouldn't be surprised if the show did it. If it did, it would be, I think, pretty you know, pretty amazing for them to do it. Um, and it would certainly fix one of the problems I have with the show. But uh, that remains to be seen. But I think that that's hanging over the show as a possibility this season. Again, this is something, if you don't know anything about it, don't worry about it. But just know that um, there certainly is something major brewing. And I like the whole idea that you know Rick's character is just going to get darker and darker. And... Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't quite know exactly what to expect from a show that's just, you know, all zombie stuff, and now it's a prison. So, you know, it's they're, all the characters are in a prison and stuff, so I don't quite know what they're going to do, but I know I'm actually pretty excited for it. And uh, I hope it delivers as like a good one-two punch for Sunday nights, because Dexter had a really good uh, Season 7 premiere. And, um, yeah, it would be a lot of fun to have, you know, both of these shows, um, you know, deliver on a Sunday night. So... Yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess that's really all I got. Um, I'll be doing these reviews along with Dexter, you know. So uh, check them out if you want.
And um, all right, guys, take care.